Alrighty, hey beauties, I'm trying something new today. I'm afraid that I'm shaking the thing so much. I'm trying to see if I'm in focus or if I'm not in focus. I'm giving my update of my nails. What do I do? What do I use? And I was going to be using the Masters. Hold on. Hold on. So I was thinking of doing my nails this style, right? But, um... It's not going to really be possible because one thing is for sure is that I'm not feeling that bougie, I guess you could say. I'm not going to go out as much, so I don't want to really use these rhinestone diamond style looking. And same thing with this one. They have like really beautiful detail and it's like, uh, again, I apologize if anything is wiggling or not. Um, if I'm out of focus, I am sorry. But welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's like a little red button. Hit that for me. So you guys could be following me. And if you guys are interested on my vlog, follow that too. Give your girl a help, a push, a need, you know? But anyways, let's get to this video. Again, I'm trying this out. I hope this goes well. And by any means, let's get to this video. So we're using the Kiss Salon. And these are in the length medium. It does give you a lot of instructions back here on how to prep the nails. I don't use this. I don't really t pay, pay attention to it. I've never read it. I've always done it my way. So you could always go based on this or you could do it your way. Up to you. So what I like to do is it comes with one of these basically. So if you are going to just use them temporarily as in for one night and then take them off, go for it. Use these. These are like the little gummies that come with it. I don't use them. They're not my cup of tea. They're like temporary solution. And I like wearing my nails for like at least two weeks, literally. And because again, my nails are really thin. I mean, they're not thin, but I, I'm a nail biter. So I tend to after a while start nibbling on my nails and that's not cute. So because that's not cute, I would prefer buying these. And usually when I go to the nail salon, they do damage my nails a lot. So I don't like that. I don't like it. So let's move on on this. So what you want to do first is figure out if you're going to glue them or if you're going to use this one. Now, I personally... Do you guys like my shot glass? Oh. I personally prefer the glue over um, these. And I use actually the original glue that comes with. Now, some people say it doesn't work, but I actually do enjoy using it. I bought in this one before also, but I actually do love using these. So, and this will last you a couple of rounds of nails. So by any means, let's get to this. So what you want to do is that you always want to push back your cuticles. Now, if you have really large cuticles, you just want to push them back a little bit just to give it like a wannabe natural effect. Wanna be because it's not gonna be natural. Okay, once you have done that, you want to make sure that you have no gunk under your nails whatsoever because you don't want to get a nail infected. So you just use a sharp edge to clean through it. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be using the light blue side, and this is just to lightly remove any excess oil that you have. You also want to go through with the with the what is it called? Alcohol wipe to make sure that you have no oil there. Okay, once we are there, we want to start measuring the nail set. Now I already have um, pretty much I know what size is what, but each of the nails do have a number right on the top. Ooh, my pinkies are 13. All right, voila. So we have everything set. Let's clean everything up. So I actually cut my glue at an angle. So I'm gonna let this set just for a while, just a little bit, just so it could get like fully tacky. We're gonna do the same thing with the pinky. Okay, it looks like I have run out of glue which is always a good thing all right now you always want to make sure that you go from the inner to the outer Literally, and that is it. You literally take about less than 20 minutes 
on doing these nails and they look hella freaking cute. Look at this. You pay $8 for these and they last you two weeks so you only pay $16. $16 is a good deal. Usually you pay 40 bucks at the nail salon for like two weeks. That's 80 bucks. $35 for every two weeks, right? Times two. You're spending $70 times 12 months. You're spending $800 on your nails. That is the most cheapest nails I've ever seen. Um, but if you buy these for $8, right, and use them times two, $16 times 12, that's $192 that you only spent. And keep in mind that there's always promotions where you buy one, get one free in CVS, or when you buy one, get one half off, or buy three and get one free. There's always promotion on nails like this. So if you subtract that, mine is a 84, you're basically saving $648. Now, these nails are good quality nails. Like you could, and they don't tape off. The only downside is that you can't do a lot of force to it because you can bend the plastic, but that's also with acrylic nails, they can break. So, I mean, check it out, try these out. They are like the most inexpensive, best quality nails that I've ever tried. With those $684, you could go buy me a Starbucks gift card hello look a starbucks mine is usually about six bucks divide that by six dollars it's a hundred and eight venti's that i can actually get a hundred and eight a hundred and eight uh this is a splurge just a tip